before getting saved, we don't give thanks for everything. We give thanks for good things. For bad things, we complain and blame. But after getting saved and learning the word and seeing what the word of God requires of us, we start to change our ways. For things we don't like, we thank God for it. Why? Do not forget, he said, all things work together for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. So that's why we have come to change our ways. Because no matter what happens, if you believe the Lord, you're walking with the Lord, you are in the place of advantage. Ephesians 5.20, giving thanks always for all things. Only that line is so heavy to accept parents discipline you you have to give thanks to the Lord can you imagine sometimes we don't know the value of the negative things in our lives disappointments broken expectations you were so excited you were married after getting married you felt like is this it like I always say you felt like pastor can I get out and you know the answer till death do us part <laughs> difficult go to situation they lose loved ones you are here sitting in peace in some nations we cannot we cannot even meet i was reading the news several times there was shoot out there was open shoot open gun shot not one not two in the church in all things give thanks how could we give thanks someone shot somebody in the church because god is worthy of our thanksgiving and that bad situation doesn't change him from being a good God. He is a good God and he deserves our thanksgiving. If you want me to give you reasons, do I don't want to because that's not why I'm here. But I have reasons why I should not thank God. Then, Pastor, are you not acting? Emphatically, yes, I am acting. Should, should we act like this, Pastor? Emphatically, yes. What is faith? Faith is substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. Abraham, father of faith, acted. Prophets acted. Priests acted. The 12 disciples acted. Jesus acted. Who are you? You have to act. So, should I pretend? Don't pretend. Put your faith in your actions. That's all. I'm standing today, not on the heel of my shoes, not on a platform, these things are all physical. I'm standing on trust in God. Otherwise, I will not be here. I will run for my life. Pastor, really? You read my lips. I just told you. Is this so difficult, Pastor? Not exactly. If you're talking about choice, I have no choice now. He is my choice. He has chosen me. I live, die, breathe. This is it. We act as though it is and it becomes you act what god's word says giving thanks always giving thanks always there was not enough food to feed five thousand people excluding women and children the lord jesus the first thing he will say in his prayer was thanksgiving hebrews 12 2 looking unto jesus the author and finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of god now you may have read it in a speed fast way but i just want to bring your notice to one or two items right there in that verse despising the shame who is the subject in that verse jesus christ is the personality in that now whose shame will be that jesus christ so many of you when you worship him you didn't know that he had shame or maybe you think that that's jesus that's not jesus me i'm different no you are not different you are born of god you have the same privilege and opportunity given to jesus christ decide today whether you are upset whether you're happy, whether the weather is not comfortable, you will give thanks. You will thank God for everything. I'm standing on the rock that never fails. 
Jesus is the rock that never fails. Where are you standing? I'm standing on the rock that never fails. Who is the rock? Jesus is the rock that never fails. Where are you standing? I'm standing on the rock that never fails. Who is that rock? Jesus is the rock that never fails. Hallelujah.